Welcome to Miss Sophie's Storytime. Today we're going to read a book from the Paul Elementary series called Astoria Learns to Swim, written by Katie Melko and illustrated by Roscana Aslizlo. Oh, what's this? Inside the book is an encouragement card. It says, have courage. Don't say no to an activity because you've never done it before. Be courageous and experience new things. Having courage means to do something that you think might be difficult for you. Oh, and look who's here to help us read. It's Astoria. She even has the letter A on her collar. Let's find out if Astoria used courage to learn how to swim. Astoria and her twin brother Jax were walking through their neighborhood when they ran into Roxy and Noelle playing on the swings. Hi, Astoria and Jax said. Noelle couldn't wait to share her news with them. She jumped off the swing and ran up to Astoria and Jax. I'm having a summer pool party. I hope you can come, Noelle said excitedly. This is Astoria with the letter A on her red cat collar. This must be her twin brother Jax with the blue bow tie. This is Roxy with the orange collar and it says her name on it too. And this is Noelle. Her collar has her name on it and is decorated with pineapples. She's the one having the pool party. Astoria and Jax looked down at their paws. Oh no, said Noelle. Do you guys know how to swim? Roxy said quickly. Don't worry. I don't know how to swim either. My mommy is taking me to Aqua Pups. That's where my brother Mason learned how to swim too. Astoria went home and told her parents about the party. Her mama immediately called Aqua Pups to sign her and Jax up. This is the place called Aqua Pups that Noelle is talking about. Aqua is another word for water. It's good that Astoria's mom is signing both her and her brother up for swimming lessons. She called this number on the card from Aqua Pups that says, learn how to swim. It's important to learn how to swim and it can be a lot of fun. Hopefully Astoria and Jax won't be sad or scared anymore once they learn how to swim. That evening, Mama got out their swim gear and researched ways to introduce her children to swimming. Astoria and Jax put on their bathing suits and played in the tub. Astoria whispered to Jax, This is so fun and Mommy's letting us play extra long. She giggled as Jax used her knee as a ramp for his boat. That's a great idea from their mom. Who hasn't had fun playing in the bathtub? I know I have. The water is not so scary when you're in the bathtub, right? And their mom is watching them to make sure they are safe. Astoria is wearing a bright yellow swimsuit and Jax is wearing blue swim shorts. Astoria and Jax woke up early and put on their gear. They were in the kitchen ready to go before Mama even made her coffee. We're so excited, they exclaimed to Mama and Papa. In the car, Mama reminded them to listen to their swim instructor and that she would be right there on the side of the pool to cheer them on. It's very important to listen to your swim instructor. They are there to help you learn how to swim and make sure that you know how to be safe in the water. After playing in the bathtub last night, Astoria and Jax are really excited to go to their first swimming lesson. They even beat Mama to the car. And look at the license plate of the car. It says, meow. As they walked into Club Aqua Pups, Astoria said, what is that funny smell? That's chlorine. It keeps the pools clean, Mama explained. When they got to the front desk, the receptionist Buster greeted them. 
Buster gave them a tour of the club and showed them to the locker room where they could get changed. That's right, pools are kept clean with chlorine. It's a type of chemical that kills germs and bacteria and can smell a little funny. Make sure you don't swallow it. And after you're done swimming, you have to take a shower. Otherwise your skin can get itchy from the chlorine water. Astoria got changed, but she found herself feeling scared of the big pool of water. What if I can't swim? What if I can't get out? She thought worried. Mama could see in their faces that Astoria and Jax were nervous. She offered them her paws to hold, and the three of them walked out to the pool together. Wow, look at all that water! There's a lot more water than what's in your bathtub. Good thing Mama is there to hold their hands and walk them to the pool area. Astoria's swimsuit is pink with lemons on it, and Jack has on turquoise swim shorts with little fish on them, and their mom is wearing a green swimsuit with pink and orange hearts on it. Charlie and Dakota, the swim instructors, introduce themselves and the lifeguards, Max and Luxy. Lifeguards watch swimmers in the pool very carefully to help keep them safe, Charlie explained. Astoria's eyes grew big, trying to take everything in. Astoria walked down the stairs into the pool. She took two steps in and then walked back out. Dakota came and offered Astoria her paw. How about we do it together? I promise I won't let go. Astoria nodded nervously, grabbing Dakota's paw. At Aquapups, they have swim instructors and lifeguards. The lifeguards will make sure you're safe while you're in and around the pool. Dakota is nice. She's going into the water together with Astoria, so she won't feel scared. Soon Astoria was in the water up to her waist. Dakota looked at Astoria and said, Try to have courage and stay focused on me. Dakota had Astoria hold the second step with her paws, place her face in the water, and practice kicking. Remember, try to keep your legs straight when kicking. Then she showed Astoria how to practice arm strokes while sitting on the stairs. The swim instructor is teaching Astoria how to get used to the water and how to move in the water. These are some of the basics that help you swim on your own. Astoria can feel safe practicing the strokes because she's doing that while sitting on the stairs. That makes it less scary. Dakota guided Astoria into the water and held on to both of her arms so Astoria could kick and do a lap around the pool. Astoria learned how to float you did great today, Astoria, Dakota said. At our next lesson, we'll focus on doing arm strokes while kicking. Astoria left her first lesson feeling better, but she was still nervous. She had learned three tips to stay safe while swimming. One, never swim alone. Always swim with an adult who knows how to swim. Two, don't run or play around the edge of the pool. Three, when you're learning to swim, always hold on to the side of the pool and have the instructors help you keep your head above water. Those three tips are really good and important too. Even if you're older, it's best not to swim alone in case you or someone else needs help. Sometimes you can get a muscle cramp while swimming and you might need help. The lifeguards will always remind you not to play or run around the pool. Sometimes they even blow a whistle to get your attention. And I remember holding onto the wall when I first learned how to swim too. That afternoon, Mama and Papa set up a sprinkler and had a barbecue so Astoria and Jax could get another form of water exposure to help them feel comfortable. Papa also stopped at the library to get the children books about swimming to read at bedtime. At her next swim lesson, Astoria got a swimmer's cap and goggles to wear and learned how to make bubbles with her mouth. It was a little scary, but Dakota was right there with her. 
A swimmer's cap helps protect your hair from the chlorine in the water, and it helps you move through the water faster. If you join a swim team, they all wear a swimmer's cap. And goggles are really cool. They help keep the water out of your eyes and you can see underwater clearly. But you don't have to wear them in order to swim. Dakota held Astoria's paws and guided her back and forth across the pool while she kicked and then held on to Astoria's waist with only one arm so she could try the arm and kicking motion together. By the end of the lesson, Astoria felt more confident in the water and was able to float better. Tomorrow, she would continue to learn and practice her swimming skills. It's important to keep practicing so you become more comfortable in the water. You'll become a better swimmer in no time. Jax was doing great and really enjoyed swimming with Charlie. Mama and Papa took a CPR course too, to learn how to keep everyone very safe when swimming. Meryl and Mercy were the CPR instructors for the parents' class. Today was group swim day, and Roxy, Brandy, and Luna joined Astoria and Jax. Other swim classes joined them too. It was fun to see everyone. Dakota reminded the parents, sometimes children feel nervous about the water and learning to swim. But when they learn how to swim and stay safe in and around the water, they'll feel confident and won't be scared, and they will have fun. Mama and Papa stood next to the other parents and waved at their kids, giving encouraging smiles. Astoria and Jax took lessons every day for two weeks. They only had a few more lessons left before graduating from the beginner swim class at Club Aquapups. Wow, only two weeks of classes every day and already Astoria and Jax are much more confident and safer in the water. If you look at the calendar, it says June here at the top. Their classes end on the 17th of June and the pool party is on the 20th. They'll be all ready to have fun at the party. Astoria and her family walked to Noelle's house. She was so excited to see all her friends in the pool there swimming together. It looks like they're having fun at Noelle's pool party. Here's Astoria and Jax. Noelle and Roxy, and Luna, and Brandy, the party was so much fun. Astoria remembered all the rules, played safely, and was proud of her courage. She couldn't wait to go back to Aquapups to tell Dakota. The end. Astoria and Jax used their courage to go to Aquapups and learn how to swim. And in the end, they were able to enjoy their very first pool party with their friends. Doing new things can sometimes be scary, but when you have help from your parents or a teacher, it's a lot easier and fun too. Be sure to support the author and buy this book for your home library. Books, plushies, and encouragement cards are available at the link listed in the description. To read other books, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. This way you can always find this channel and listen to more stories. Keep reading and until next time on Miss Sophie's Storytime.